Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the Rocket Tab. My name is Philip, and today I'm going to explain you the Polaris program and what it means for the future of SpaceX. Fourteenth of February 2022, SpaceX announced the Polaris program, their own astronaut training mission. That was just four days after a Starship update, which we talked in my last video, and it has a special reason. But seriously, can't they just once wait before announcing the next big thing so I can finish my videos in time, maybe? Anyway, what even is Polaris? Polaris is a private spaceflight venture brought into life by Jared Isaacman, the commander of the Inspiration4 mission, who purchased another three crewed missions from SpaceX. Named after the star constellation known as Polaris, which includes the North Star and stood as a guiding light of the sky for generations, the Polaris program is set to become some sort of a guiding light as well, but this time for the future of space exploration. The first of the three planned Polaris mission is called Polaris Dawn and is scheduled for Q4 2022. The mission will be flown uh, by four private astronauts, among them are Jared Isaacman himself, Scott Poteet, the mission director of Inspiration4, and Anna Manon and Sarah Gillis, both SpaceX employees. The four astronauts are going to launch on board a SpaceX Dragon capsule from Historic Launch Complex 39A and will be put into a nearly 1,400km high elliptic orbit around our home planet and set a new record for the highest crewed low Earth orbit, surpassing the old record of 1,369km set during Gemini 11. Furthermore, the mission is set to conduct the first ever private spacewalk with in-house designed SpaceX EVA suits. Maybe NASA could use some too, but this is a different story. Additionally, the crew will conduct experiments and test the Starlink satellite network for the first time on a spacecraft. The second of the three Polaris missions is also going to fly on a Crew Dragon as well, but neither the crew nor the objectors are known as of today. All we know is that the mission will likely function as some kind of test for a third mission of the Polaris program and may include docking operations between the Crew Dragon capsule and a starship that's already parked in low Earth orbit. But the really interesting deal here is the third and for now last Polaris mission. It is not going to launch on a Crew Dragon, but will mark the very first crewed mission on board Starship. Yes, you heard it right. Jared Isaacman has volunteered to be among the first people to fly SpaceX's new monster rocket from liftoff all the way to touchdown. We don't know who else is going to be on board or when it is set to launch, but I'd expect it to be around early to mid-2024 based on earlier statements about crewed Starship's flights by SpaceX founder Elon Musk. But these three missions aren't typical space tourism flights as the traditional media may report. The Polaris program is more about testing new technologies needed for lunar and Martian missions by SpaceX, such as the new EVA suits and the Starship life support system. For example, the in-house design SpaceX EVA suit may be used on future missions as well and will evolve into the suits used on potential deep space missions or on Mars. The first iteration of the suit, which is going to be tested during the Polaris Dawn mission, is based on the IVA suit currently worn by astronauts while being in the pressurized environment of the Dragon. As we can see in this first render, the suit will likely lack the typical backpack feature on other EVA suits like NASA's EMU used around the space station. Since Dragon is pretty small, such a backpack wouldn't fit through the gate at the top of Dragon. Additionally, SpaceX has to find a way to depressurize Dragon entirely since the spacecraft doesn't feature any airlocks. And the list of newly developed items and procedures goes on and on. Testing out technologies needed for a crewed Starship flight on Dragon missions such as Polaris Dawn and the second yet unnamed mission is probably a good idea. 
It minimizes the risk of the third mission failing and dramatically helps in the development of the crew starship design. It also minimizes the risk for either the Dear Moon mission or SpaceX's efforts in the Artemis moon landings failing and therefore ensures the safety of future astronauts. Being the first people on a new vehicle is always dangerous though, but the risk of the third Polaris mission failing seems to be low enough for Jared Isaacman's wife to allow him to climb on board. Additionally, Polaris cooperates with the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, just like Inspiration4, and collect donations for their research as well as raise awareness for their cause of trying to cure chronic diseases like cancer. Working for a cause like that may seem a bit odd, but remember, Inspiration4 raised more than $240 million of the nation, so we could expect that to happen again and make our world a better place. But even more remarkably, Polaris marks the beginning of a new era in spaceflight. The era of privately funded crewed space exploration and non-governmental astronaut programs. After all, a vehicle like Starship needs people to fly it and the Polaris program does just that. Prepare the first ever Starship crew for the next generation launch vehicle and how to handle it. SpaceX effectively just started their own astronaut training program and that is a huge deal. Since the very beginning of space exploration, going to space was reserved for the governmental space agencies. But that is going to change and the Polaris is the first step in this direction. The era of private passengers going to space and eventually to Mars. And that is basically everything that you should know about Polaris, SpaceX's own astronaut program. Let me know in the comments whether you are hyped for the Polaris program and if you enjoyed the video, which I really hope you did, why don't you hit the like button and subscribe to the Rocket Chub. Thank you if you do so. We see ourselves in the next video and until then, I'm out. Cheers.